Hey guys, um, it is day one. I am just about to go swimming and do some laps. Um, I don't really have a real exercise pool, but rather a more, well, rather more recreational pool, really. But it's just still a good place to work out in. Um, I'm just going to go back and forth and do around 50 to 100 laps. It's not much, but it's still, it's still a good way to work out. Swimming really is just a way to relax and feel not sweat as much, but like it really pushes your muscles. I remember when I had to do swimming in PE classes, um, I remember getting out of the pool sore and being really tired. So, um, I went out to eat at Soup Plantation today, so I want to really sort of work that off. Right now, I am 136 pounds, um, so I have 21 to lose. Yes, I have 21 to lose, so I will get back to you guys once I get out of the pool. So, I'm going to go have fun! I just got out of the pool. Um, I did 50 laps. Sort of worked me out a bit since I haven't exercised like that in a while. I felt a lot of soreness and pain from my biceps and from my knee. Um, so it was nice. I made my muscles a bit sore and warmed up. So I started with 50 laps um, today. And every few days, I'm going to increase it a bit. Next week, I might do an extra 15 or 10, depending on my skill level. I used to tell my mom all the time that I wanted to go to a gym and work out there. And my mom would always say, just, just go for a run or go swimming or use a treadmill. And I'd always be like, no, because we don't have the bike machine and other um, workout stations. And I learned that it's really, it's really, really good if you incorporate... Um, and use what you have already like I have a pool I could have gone swimming every day which I plan to hopefully if you have a dog go out with him in a walk make your walks longer maybe even run a bit if it's a big dog and can handle it if you have a nice neighborhood that's safe um, go for a run there or grab a friend and um, go for go for a hike but be careful and be safe I want to show you a tool I use to um, manage my weight loss and how much calories I eat Here's the link. It's an Excel sheet that you download, and it's all set up. Here it is. Um, it's the diet spreadsheet. It, the page just gives you an overview of what's going on, and then the link is all the way at the bottom, and just download it, and you can open it up. Um, on the first spreadsheet, there's dates and um, meals, and you basically just input what you eat every day and the calories it is, I don't know how many calories banana is, um, and then you get a total, and once you get the total you just put it in the average box and it gets an average of what you've eaten in the past four days, um, five days. And it just, I stopped using it um, a few months ago because I got the hang of it and I found out how many calories I can handle and still like not gain weight, but I would suggest you start using it and just See for yourself what your body needs and what it doesn't need. Um, the second spreadsheet is a weight spreadsheet. And basically, you have your dates. Just fix the dates. Um, today is the 7th, 25th, 10th. And then put input how much you weigh today. I weigh 136. It again keeps the average of the, average of the five days. It's really good because we know that um, we know that our weight fluctuates every day, so by seeing an average, it sort of counts um, for those fluctuations, and you can just see how you're going if you're increasing or decreasing or staying where you are. Um, so it's really, really helpful, and it always motivated me because I feel so good when I see something on paper and it shows my progress, because we can't look in the mirror and say, oh, I see that I lost 0.5 of a pound. So I'm... If you're technical like me, then this will really, really help you. So, I hope you guys utilize that. Um, I guess that's pretty much it for today. Tomorrow, I want to show you guys another tool that I use to help me keep myself on track. I'm one of those people that it just, I need that motivation on paper or from friends and just 
have to see that I need to progress to progress. I'll explain that more tomorrow. Otherwise, have a good day, and I hope your first day is going well. And I just hope, overall, you're just feeling good about yourself after your first workout in a while. So I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.